Hey, what's up guys? Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back dito sa ating channel. At ngayon, pag-uusapan natin kung bakit nga ba ang tablet ay isa sa mga pwedeng alternative to laptops and even smartphones when conducting trainings or attending online meetings. Let's get started. Now, since tablet na pag-uusapan natin for this particular segment, I just really thought that it would be nice for us to have a concrete example to that. And we're just fortunate because one of our brand partners, Huawei, just sent us a Huawei MatePad. And we believe that this could be a good concrete example of how a tablet should be when you're looking for one. Now, when looking for a tablet, you may want to pay attention to the following things. You have to look at the CPU, the display, the battery life, and all the other features that that tablet you're looking at possesses. Now, let's start off with the first one on our list. We have CPU. Alam nyo ba na may mga applications kayo or games na ginagamit on your device that would require more than one core? You have to keep in mind that the tablet you're going to use is powerful enough to run and multitask applications like Microsoft PowerPoint and also Zoom. There will be times that the applications you'll be running on your tablet will not require too much or too high frequency. Ito yung maganda with our featured product right now, the Huawei MatePad, because yung distribution ng cores niya or frequency per core, very diverse. Ibig sabihin, if there are applications na hindi kailangan ng sobrang taas na frequency, ang gagamitin lang niya would be the ones or the cores that have high or at least equal to the one required na frequency. In effect, which I will connect to later in uh, the battery segment, is that hindi siya gagamit ng sobrang daming energy, therefore, yung drop ng battery juice will not be that significant. As consumers, I think this is an important matter to look at when buying a tablet or even buying a smartphone. Sometimes brands would tell you that this one has four cores, this one has eight cores, but that should not be enough information before you make a decision. Before I'm full time sa Gadget Pilipinas, ang background ko is sa sales, marketing, and training. And uh, yung wife ko nasa training then, and I'm often really asked by people kung ano ba talaga dapat yung binibili when looking for laptops, tablets, and smartphones. And I think, meron din kayong kaibigan na ganun, no? kung baga tanungan ninyo when it comes to these technical matters. And at least, at the very least, alam natin kung ano yung role ng CPU uh, when uh, purchasing a tablet. Dumako tayo ngayon sa pangalawa which is display. This is a very important segment because as educators or the ones conducting trainings online, importante na nakikita mo as much as many as you can yung mga taong kinakausap mo. Therefore, it has the screen has to be big. And the second one naman ay kung gaano kaganda yung quality ng display. So, this is of course where this tablet also stands out. It has very big display at 84% screen to body ratio. That means you can fit a lot of people when viewing all participants. You have bigger display to see what's being presented. Kuy ko nakikinig, you can see it very clearly. At ang maganda kapag may tablet ka, pwede mo ilapit, no? Pwede mo ilapit yung screen sa When you're using naman a laptop, you know, will have to squint and you have to look forward pa, no? Pag may tablet ka, pwede mo hawakan, no? And also, more immersive video chat with family and friends, whether you're using Facebook or you're using perhaps uh, Messenger Rooms, bago ni Facebook, or you're using MeTime by Huawei or Skype, or kung hindi man Skype, pwede rin naman na Zoom. It is sometimes nice to have a bigger and wider display so you can see all of them in one box. Now, you may have a good tablet with a really gorgeous display, but para saan siya kung hindi naman ganong haganda yung, yung speakers at hindi din ganong haganda yung microphone. And I think this is where uh, the tablet that we're featuring right now excels because this uh, has quad channel speakers by Harman Kardon. I think uh, if you search the internet, you will know that there's a lot of quality products out there na merong Harman Kardon na sound. And apart from that, meron din siya na quad channel na microphone so that kahit sa ang angulo, pick up no, yung boses mo. 
Hi guys, so this is a sample audio recording using the Huawei MatePad and the tablet is just a feet away from me and I'm gonna let you listen to the background noise where I am in right now. I'm in my study room at uh, yung PC ko nasa right side which is about 3 feet away and an aircon is uh, about 6 to 7 feet away from me at uh, baka may mapick up din kayo na tumatahol na aso sa kapitbahay and here we go. Right, that's after 8 seconds. I hope uh, this would uh, help you understand and see how good the uh, four channel microphone of this tablet by Huawei and again guys when you're looking for a tablet you have to always consider as well the quality of the microphone because the sound is just as important as the display ngayon tapos na tayo sa display pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ang battery when you're looking for a tablet you have to always consider at least more than 5500 milliamperes the battery I may be very specific with the number that I mentioned, 5,500, bakit no? This may be relative, but the reason why I did that is because marami ng mga smartphones ngayon na tumawid na sa threshold ng 5,000 mAh battery. And I think you know, having a tablet na more than that kind of battery juice would be very beneficial for you. Remember, hindi lang po yung CP yung pinapower, hindi lang yung display. There's a lot of components that would require power no, for this particular device. And I think you know, having at least 5,500 is the best way to go. Now, fortunately, this one as well has more than that because this has 7,520 milliamperes na battery. And you know what? You couple that with a good energy efficiency of the Kirin 810 and you get yourself a tablet that can really last for more than a day. Now, one of the reasons why some consumers are considering to get a tablet rather than a laptop because of energy efficiency. Kapag lagi nakasaksak kasi yung device, syempre, you will consume uh, electricity. And when that is the case, Medyo malaki-laki ang uh, sisingilin sa atin ng uh, electric companies. No? And ayun natin mangyari yun. Now, in the case of tablets, uh, you just charge it for about an hour or maybe two hours. Then you get a full health of ba battery. That's it. Use it. And then after that, when you're done with your meetings, you can use it as a multimedia device or maybe a gaming device. And the rest is up to you. Ayan, so yun yung pinaka three important core specifications that you need to look at. Hindi ko pa nabanggit dito yung RAM niya, saka hindi ko na rin nabanggit dito yung kanyang storage. But that is something that you might want to check out when we post our full review of the Huawei MatePad. But, you know, just to give you a quick roundup of uh, how I see its uh, full specs, it's just enough for online education and for media consumption. Now, dumako naman tayo ngayon sa ibang mga bagay when you are considering to get yourself a new tablet. And that would be other features. Alam niyo ba that some brands are doing their best to further innovate how their products are used. This tablet, for instance, can be turned from a tablet to a PC mode or to a PC rather in a flick of a switch. Now, as I mentioned, meron siyang PC mode experience where it has full support for M-Pen and third-party Bluetooth keyboard na nang sa ganun ay yung full experience mo would really be like you're using a PC. O, bakit uli? Kasi nga, hindi naman po lahat ng mga tao kaya bumili ng PC or laptop. So they just resort to buying a tablet. Not a bad case. And when they're using a tablet as much as possible, if it's possible for them to turn it into a like a PC or to have a PC-like experience, mas maganda. Kaya nga naman, di ba, nauso ngayon yung mga dongles, nauso ngayon yung mga dock where you place tablet or the smartphones para magamit mo yung keyboard, para magamit mo rin yung uh, mga controllers mo if you're using this for uh, games. Now, in the case of the Huawei MatePad, you don't need to worry about that because with uh, the cover, uh, you just place it right over and then place a keyboard, pair it to a keyboard or even a mouse if you want and you're good to go. Now, another feature that I would like to mention here is what we call App Multiplier. 
I mentioned this doon sa video natin ng Huawei MatePad Pro because this is the smaller brother of that variant. They also ported it over here thanks to EMUI 10.1 by the way. Now, with that, this allows you to use floating window and split screen all together for you to have a seamless browsing experience. Ngayon, hindi man ito related doon sa online education or online trainings. Pero at the end of the day, you would want to take a rest, you know, sit on the couch, and then browse through Lazada. You can do that. You know, and if you have a list, you can always open uh, a list of, you, of the things you wish to buy. At habang ginagawa mo yun, you're browsing through Lazada at floating window lang yung list. It's, it's very convenient, very helpful for consumers. Now, this is just an extra information about our featured product right here. Alam nyo ba that this one has an alternative, built-in alternative uh, to FaceTime, uh, Zoom, Facebook Messenger, Microsoft Teams, etc. And they call it MeTime. MeTime allows you to call your friend who is also using a Huawei device with MeTime. And uh, this, the connection is very seamless. I've uh, done this several times. I also called Mr. Brian Raza of uh, tech to baboy before in my Huawei P40 and it's actually the same thing on the Huawei MatePad. The visual and audio clarity is really high at uh, halos wala yata siya ng video latin sino. Maliban doon is that uh, there are also other extra features like uh, you can share your screen, you, know, you can uh, have some stickers as well while uh, you are having a meeting or me time with your friends. And before I forget, meron pala tong feature na kapag may kausap ka sa me time is that fa-follow niya kung nasaan ka so it will just be focused on your face and it will maintain that focus wherever you go. Now, I found this uh, sa Facebook portal. It's something that I bought on uh, in Amazon and it's just really nice that they kind of have the same thing on the Huawei MatePad. Now, one last thing would be the compatibility of applications. Yes, this does not have Google Play Store, but Huawei put up Huawei App Gallery. It's a repository of all the applications you're accustomed to use or the top apps that you've been using on Android. And every day, dumadami yung mga applications na available dito. And there is even this new widget, which they call Petal Search Widget that will allow you to look for the applications you've been waiting for. Some results that you can get from Petal Search Widget would direct you to official sites where you can download the APK, but there are also some applications na i-direct ka sa mga third party. But make sure that you're going to the trusted ones, which Huawei ecosystem would definitely let you know. And that's it for our segment for today. Thank you guys for watching and for those of you who are currently considering to get the Huawei MatePad, it is now available for 20,990 pesos. So that's it guys. This has been Gian of GadgetPilipinas.net. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.